What the fuck is personal branding anyway? Hopefully today you have a better idea what you can do with branding or at least understanding what branding is and how you can use it to your own benefit. When you talk about yourself, when you say something about yourself in your, in your website or your profile on LinkedIn or your social media, whatever social media you are using, this is marketing. What you say about yourself is marketing. Then when people talk about you and they form an opinion about you, this is branding. There is no more mystery, no more fluff, no more colors, logos, whatever. It's really what people think of you. Other people say reputation, other people say personality, values, whatever it is. This is branding. Can you control it? Yes and no. And this is important to understand because what you think of yourself is not necessarily what people think of you. For instance, I see a lot in LinkedIn that people tend to inflate their title to the point where it's getting ridiculous. Like people that were back in the days just copywriters, now they are creative directors. I met people that two years ago were junior designers, they didn't know nothing even about the software, and now they call themselves senior art director. Really? I also met people that five years ago, they were quite average designers, and now they are call themselves senior creative director, when I know they are not creative, they don't have the ability to be a director, and they don't even have a design portfolio to find a job. There is a lot of fake, try hard people out there doing the wrong thing and giving the wrong advice. You don't have to pretend to be somebody else. Just because somebody said that you have to fake it till you make it because you have to put a vision on your future, that doesn't mean it's going to work. The only thing that works is you putting in the work. That's why I'm so against the whole fake it till you make it, this whole LinkedIn game that everyone is playing, because in the end, you will have to prove your work. You will have to have this work. You will have to defend it if you go to an interview. My recommendation is work it till you make it instead of fake it till you make it. So this is to start. Now that you know genuine personal branding is the best you can do, what can you do to do actually something about the perception people have of you? Well, there are many things about personal branding and many things you can do, but today I want to focus on the most practical one, the one you can actually achieve from today and use it in all your profiles. This is called positioning. So today I want to give you a really simple structure for you to elaborate your positioning statement. The structure is as follows. Draft a simple paragraph answering these three questions. What is your experience or what do you do? What is your added value? And the last question, this is quite important. How can you contribute to your target? Target is if you are looking for a job or looking for a specific company to work for, you need to mention it somehow or in your social media channel. If you have a, a Pinterest account or an Instagram account or a TikTok account and you want people to have an opinion of you, you can use this sort of structure for people to actually have this perception of what you are about. For instance, I just made this one up and it's one that I could use myself I will say, what is your experience? What do you do? I will say, I'm a freelance visual designer. What is your added value? I will say, I have over 18 years of experience and I'm specialized in brand and communications design. And the third question, how can I contribute to my target? My target, because I'm a freelance designer, I work for agencies or brands directly. I wrote this, it could be shorter, it could be longer, it's up to me. In the end, you have to see what works for you. My primary focus is to help brands in the best way possible, not my portfolio. This is important when you are a senior like me, that you understand business. 
I try to put myself in the minds of the people that could potentially hire me. So I use words that I know will resonate with them. These three questions is the fundamental structure to write a position in a statement. Once you craft this one, it's going to be really useful because you can just copy and paste and use it on your website, use it on your LinkedIn, or on your social media platforms. If you want to have other opinions and have other resources, I invite you to actually go and search online because there are a lot of articles and people talking about positioning statements, and I'm sure it will give you a good framework to elaborate yours. If you are actually looking for a job and you want to know more about personal branding specifically tailored for job seekers, I invite you to check out this book. It has more examples on how to write your position statements and how to uh, craft a motivation letter and how to do the little tricks to get you into interview. It also has a chapter on negotiating your salary, which is quite useful. And I will leave all the links below so you can check it out. And that's all for today, guys. Remember, stop faking it and start making it. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.